last week on Game Gods. Godlike gamers out there and honorary godlike gamers who like the game but aren't as hardcore about it. I'm your host, Pat Andrew, the resident game god, and tonight is our second episode. That's right, they haven't cancelled us yet. I know what you're thinking. After the episode was filmed, didn't all you guys murder each other? I bet you can't stand each other. Fortunately, no, we didn't kill each other. We're still around, and you're gonna see more of the gang later this episode. Let's take a look at some god awful games. For this segment, we asked Thane and Sky and their friends Brennan and Zay to join us for these reviews. First up, we have Coffin Dodgers. Now, I'm going to try to explain the premise of this game. You're basically a bunch of old people trying to race against death to muster up the last few moments of life that these old people have before you kick the bucket. Like every racing game, handling is key. However, in this game, the handling is like an armless man trying to dribble a basketball. No offense, it's just hard. And speaking of handling, racetracks are key for any racing game. But these ones are so short, they're shorter than Dick. My Uncle Dick, that is. They call him Tripod in high school. Not sure why. In this racing game, there are many playable characters. But the most OP in this game is the Grim Reaper. Seriously, that guy is a douche. Along with racing, there are also battle mechanics. Wait, a mini Uzi? A guitar? Whoa. Yeah, not to mention the fact that these old people die and come back from the dead to try and kill you. Yeah, this game's pretty messed up. Playing coffin dodgers is kind of like trying to dodge grandpa's funeral. There's just no way around it. After further evaluation, the ruling on the field stands. We have given this game chafing nipples out of shooting up in the workplace. Wow, thanks guys. That game was truly god awful. Next, we have Motor Racer 4, a PS3 game cleverly disguised as a PS4 game. This game is supposed to be VR, but there's only one VR mode. A missed opportunity if you ask me. It's kind of like walking in on your parents for the first time. This game feels like you're playing a mobile game on a console. This game is a PS3 game, trying to be a PS4 game, but it is a PS4 game. Somebody screwed up here. You know, this game handles like the elderly behind the wheel. Dangerous. So after reviewing this race very carefully, we're going to have to give it getting dunked on by a midget <laughs> out of getting dabbed on by Jake Paul. The Jake Paul is the strongest army out there, dab. <laughs> Next, we have what appears to be a good game, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It's about Mario and Sonic and friends playing Olympic Games in Rio. And that's pretty much the coolest part about the game is that it's set in Rio. This game has less features than the previous installment and no online mode. You know, why does this franchise still exist? Especially when we got epic titles like Mario and Rabbids, Mario City, Zelda Modern Warfare, and Kirby Hitman. You know what? Let's just have Sonic tell you how good this game actually is. After the double technical file and ejection on the field, we have decided to give this game accidentally deleting all of your friends' chows out of that one Mario Party minigame. As you can see, this version was severely stripped down. No online mode, no competitive mode, probably since the Wii U didn't sell that well and the Switch was on its way. Let's find out what our bros from Idaho have to say about this next game, RBI Baseball 2016. I can tell you he doesn't like this game. 
that guy. You know, the effort put into this game makes Field of Dreams look like the bench warmers. Everything you love about baseball games it doesn't exist here. You know, the batters only have one swing, and the pitchers only have two pitches, fast and slow. And every time you pass the ball, it always bounces off the ground. This game sucks and this franchise blows. It should have died in the 90s, like Hanson. We still don't know what they're saying. After watching the pitcher take one to the face, we have decided to rank this game. Striking out at a t-ball game, out of striking out in a strip club. What? Only two swings and two pitches? We should call this game RBI Baseball Arcade Edition. Finally, we have a revival of a soccer franchise that should have remained buried. Have you ever wanted to play a game with only one button and the controls are still hard to figure out? Then this game is for you. Yeah, this game is stuck in the past like your parents in the 80s. When you slide tackle, your character gets a sudden adrenaline rush and decides to bullet bill halfway across the field, ripping through your opponents. If you have a hard-on for soccer, Dino Dini will make your Dino Dingy go Ooh. After receiving the red card, we've decided to give this game watching Barney the Dinosaur out of killing your best friend's pet dog on accident because you were drunk. Thanks for the review, guys. You have your passport back. Randy Orton in deep trouble here over back live on Monday Night Raw. Never heard of a match like this. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So last week, we didn't get through all 69 sexy facts about Mario. They were just too sexy. So here are some more facts. Shijiro Miyamoto. Fact number 12. Shijiro Miyamoto, who also created Link, has stated that Mario is his favorite out of all the characters that he has created. Thank you much, Mr. Shijiro Miyamoto. Fact number 13. Many sports stars, including Bong Disliga football <laughs> players, Mario Gozzi and Mario Gomez of the National Hockey League, player Mario Lemieux, Italian football player Mario Balotella, and Italian cycling star Mario Cipinelli have been given the nickname Super Mario. Pick two. What are the easiest ones to say? Mario Balaki. How about many, many sports stars? Yeah. Including uh, NHL player Mario Lemieux have been given the nickname Super Mario. Uh. Fact number thirteen. Maybe fa maybe famous athletes. <laughs> Fuck off, Tom. Fact number thirteen. Maybe. F <laughs> <laughs> Fact number 13, many famous athletes, including NHL star Mario Lemieux, have been given the nickname Super Mario. Mario Lemieux is a beauty. That was Don Cherry. Fact number 14, in case you were wondering, Mario is the elder brother and Luigi is the youngest and better looking in my opinion. Wow. Fact number 14, the franchise has been branched into several mediums, including television shows, a film, comics, and licensed merchandising. I mean, who doesn't have a Mario in 2016? Super Mario. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who doesn't have a Mario in 2016? Super Mario. Uh, uh, uh. My sweetie, I hear wedding bells in my tower. Mm, those ain't wedding bells in your tower. They're bats in your belfry, lady. <laughs> Fact number 15. Mario also appeared in a Got Milk commercial. <laughs> Who gives a shit, right? Fact number 16. The first appearance of Mario in other media the games was Saturday Super Kick. An animated television series produced by Ruby Spears in 1983. It hurts when I have to be. Fact number 17. Mario, 
was voiced by Peter Cullen, appeared in Donkey Kong segments where he and Pauline would try to recapture Donkey Kong. I tried out for that part. They said I was too sexy. Fact number 18. Since 1995, Mario has been voiced by Charles Martinez, who also does the voiceovers for the Herpes commercials. Fact number 19. Mario debuted as Jumpman in the arcade game Donkey Kong on July 9, 1981. Donkey Kong was, of course, about a drunk donkey trying to navigate his way through a ladder world. Fact number 20, Shigeru Miyamoto created Mario while developing Donkey Kong in an attempt to produce a best-selling video game for the Nintendo. Kenichiwa. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so this one, uh, Donkey Kong came out in 81. The way you read it was like for the NES almost. But um, not for the Nintendo, but just for Nintendo. Oh, okay. Like as a company. Uh, and that's number 20. Fact number 20. Shigeru Miyamoto created Mario while developing Donkey Kong in an attempt to produce a best selling video game for the Nintendo. <laughs> not the Nintendo. For Nintendo. For Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> Fact number 20, Shigeru Miyamoto created Mario while developing Donkey Kong in an attempt to produce a best-selling video game for Nintendo. Where's the joke? Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fact number 21, originally Miyamoto wanted to create a video game that used the characters Popeye, Pluto, and Olive Oil, but the spinach was not in the budget. <laughs> Oh, you gotta close your robe a little bit. Have you no shame? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hide your shame. <laughs> Nothing makes me feel sexier than a nice bowl of cookies and cream ice cream with my favorite chocolate sauce. And I think I'm running out of this chocolate sauce. Charlene! More chocolate sauce! Charlene! God damn it. Let's wrap this thing up, honey hunch. It's time you and I got married. Help! Oh, my life is over! I'm a prisoner of love! Too bad we didn't have a newspaper that you could roll up. <laughs> <laughs> Should we rub this on my face now? Uh. Or does it matter? I don't know. What do you want to do? Might as well. Fact number 22. At the time, Miyamoto was unable to acquire a license to use the characters and would not until 1982. So he ended up renaming the characters as Jumpman, later known as Mario, Donkey Kong, and Pauline. Pauline. That's what he named one of the characters. You got Super Mario, Donkey Kong, and Pauline. What does Pauline do? So Beaches on the side of the road. Not a cool name, Mr. Miyamoto, but that's all right. We'll let you pass. Fact number 23. In the early stages of Donkey Kong, Mario was unable to jump, and the focus was to escape a maze. However, Miyamoto enabled Mario to jump, saying, if you had a barrel rolling towards you, what would you do? I would check to see if there's beer in it and get all wasted. You know, take my clothes off is what I would do, but... Apparently Mario jumps it. You know what I was thinking? What yeah. would you do? I was like, probably get my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Orton and Deep Trello here and we're back live on Monday Night Raw. Here's your suit. Oh, see a suit. Look at this. This suit's right here. Somebody's oh, about to fly. This is getting dangerous. Oh, wow. Superplex. Take another look at this side. Superplex. Oh, my gosh. Right at our saw last week's episode, you'll remember the dramatic retelling of how we got our first intro. If you're like most people, you didn't see last week's episode. Here's a quick recap. I don't like where this is going. There. Stop! Stop!
We started our intern search in the fall of 2016. Although we received hundreds of responses, we chose to show the most interesting and horrifying. We started our intern search in the fall of 2016. Although we received hundreds of responses, we only chose to show the most interesting and most horrifying. Finally, we found what appears to be what we're looking for, a sane person going by the handle of Serbian Gangsta One. We already connected with him. The only thing left was for him to pass our video interview process. And, okay, I see you. You said you had some questions? Shoot. Would you rather have a flamboyantly gay son or a daughter who's more morbidly obese? Uh, I don't know what to say, that's a really odd question. <laughs> your video quality is really weird, it's like another channel's hacking your signal or something. Is, uh, is your internet bought and paid for there? Would you rather ha have a daughter who's a total whore? <laughs> or a son who's a psychotic murderer? Um, I, again, I, I don't know what that has to do with the internship. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you're hired. Enough said. <laughs> when can you come to Canada? There's this plane. Whoa! Air Serbia. Easy on the landing. Alright. Is that him? I think that's him. Oh, what are you doing? Hey! Hey, that's my friend. Hey, stop it! Stop it! You ain't doing that shit. Relax, it's with me. Jeez, you pack light. Yeah, hurry up and put your gloves on. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Alright, get on the back. Get out of here before you get arrested again. All right. So turn. You gotta turn the light on. Check it out. Look up. Nice. I'm at this hardcore. A bunch of them. A lot of people say that. What's this? Gears of War. No. That's an actual gear. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, um, mostly we have quite a few collector's edition items and stuff like that. I mean, it's hardcore. That's hardcore, especially for, uh, the release point, like 2000. That's uh, pretty hardcore for back in those days. That's hardcore. That is pretty hardcore. Essentially, you have uh, Sega, you have PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, uh, PC, and you have Nintendo as well, right? Uh, this one, Shovel Knight, I got that one at Nintendo World, mm -hmm. Manhattan. This one was exclusive. This one was a prototype at the Nintendo World Store. I wanted to get this action figure um, at Nintendo World, but then uh, I didn't know if her accessory would be hidden or not. And then I looked and I freeze framed it, and um, it actually was like not hidden. So there's no difference. So I'm glad I found her over yeah. here. And that's it. It's October, it's Halloween, we couldn't think of anything scarier to do than find somebody to work for us. Randy Orton in deep trouble here, we're back live on Monday Night Raw! Thinking Orton maybe trying to set up the game for an RKO here. The game on... Yes! And looking at... Oh, oh my god! Uh oh And the game now... Here we go! Going downstairs! I knew it! Oh! And it's over! I know what you're saying. 
Pat, last week we told you we wanted more games on your show. And to that, I said, screw you, get your own show. <laughs> then we played part of our Zelda Breath of the Wild Let's Play series. Well, I'm not falling for that again this time. No. I've got a cool clip of my band playing a cover of Pumped Up Kicks. All the other kids with the Pumped Up Kicks, you better run, better run. Oh, hold on, one second. I'm getting something from the producers. Seriously? The producers say they lost the clip. I guess we'll just have to show you part two of our Let's Play series for Zelda Breath of the Wild featuring Thane and Sky, our bros from Idaho. Welcome back to another fantastic freaking game and I'm yeah. not being sarcastic when I say that. Yeah, you can even feel it and he's not playing it. It's like, oh. It's like many things. I'm not going to describe it. Just use your imagination. So, in case you're wondering, yes, we're still lost. Yeah. It's a great big world out there. Freddy. I think I think the game is like like means this way. Like, hey, like we're just going to throw you out in the open and figure it out. Yeah, you figure it out. I think it's that way. That looks like the Goron place. Yeah, that's Death Mountain. No, Death Mountain's behind you. Oh, are you sure? Oh yeah, that is Death Mountain. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, shoot. Okay. It's a mountain climber. It's Lego. Lego my ego. <gasps> Boom! Oh. How hey, at least it's not like Skyrim where sometimes you like drop like just like two inches and it's like Ugh! It's like, what the heck? Uh, uh. Let's give him a nice butt poke. And he And he comes out, takes the swing and Oh wow, you seriously shoved that in his butt. Could you be oh. any nicer? Goes for his bow. Oh wait, no wait. Oh, he's shooting. Oh, he's a horrible shot. Oh, oh stabbed in the head. Wow. Spear, throw your spear at him. Just chuck it at him. How do I throw again? I can't remember. Like, what was it again? Not that. No, not that. He's got a shield. Just slap him. Right there. Wait, right there. And bow. Oh! Uh, slap him with a club. Show him who's boss. Pull it out. Whip it out. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. He has a shield. There's got to be a faster way to equip these. I know. Slap him. Slap that. Slap that booty. Do it now. Oh. Do it good. Get a sword. Slap this booty just like you should. Nice. This is the best weapon you've had right here. It's a sword. Yeah. Wait, what about a shield? Oh, Boko shield. There you go. Switch that. See that? How'd that work? Oh, that looks groovy. Is that a whale? Yeah. Oh, no. Sheikah Tower activated. Oh, I think this Please is how you watch teleport. watch for falling rocks! Is this how you teleport? I think, yeah, I think we just fast travel. Or die. What did you just do, I man? don't know. Oh, I think... Oh, my oh, gosh! Lift just... off! What's Race doing? for ignition. And the Earth sprouted a massive bone that day. Oh, my God. Whoa! It's sprouting a bunch of bunch of towers. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo, it's crazy, bro. Hey, we made some progress. That is Calamity Ganon. Calamity Ganon? 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin it. Oh. Oh. Is this after, like... Ocarina of Time. And you just woke him up? Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that it should be quite another story. And it over! Oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know? Give him your hundred clubs. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of a treasure that slumbers nearby? Oh, you, you, you. Your first dungeon. Access granted. And it's not like a like a main dungeon, but like there's a I heard like I heard there's a bunch of like mini dungeons scattered around. And there's only like three big dungeons. So I guess these mini dungeons should make up like a good portion of the game. Randy Orton in deep trouble here at Revival Live on Monday Night Raw. Orton's in RKO position. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe worse than that. Skull crushing. Look at this. Went for the RKO. Look at the RKO. Crossroads. Crossroads. Watch out, 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 watch out
next week on Game Gods. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. I want to thank everyone from Rogers TV for helping us make this happen. I also want to thank the rest of the Game Gods team for contributing to this episode. And finally, I want to thank all you godlike gamers out there for checking us out. This is Pat Andrew, the resident Game God, signing off. That one's good. It's different, but I like it better than what I wrote. We'll work with that. Da 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 da